Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Trey the Dead Wine Ninja, and today we're going to be doing a little unboxing and hopefully a time lapse of me working on this um, 5D all rhinestone diamond painting. This is a partial, so this is not full drill, if I believe that's what it's called. I'm kind of like getting back into diamond painting ever since um, discovering that they make like all rhinestone ones this was like my dream when i first discovered diamond painting years ago they were using these plastic drills that were kind of like they sparkle but they're not as shiny as rhinestones and me loving my bling like i was like oh if only they made them in rhinestones but they don't and then i somehow ran into it recently and i was like oh my goodness they do so yeah i bought this kit off amazon it was about ten dollars and yeah, sorry, my baby got a hold of something he's not supposed to. Okay, and then I decided to give it another try. Now my vision has gotten progressively worse. Ever since I gave birth, I went like almost completely blind. So yeah, in case you're wondering, I'm also colorblind. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting, but I do have a light board and I do have my phone here that I use to zoom in. You see? So I can see where it is. It's just a little harder for me to use like the wax pen and the tools and stuff because I have to zoom in to pick up a rhinestone and zoom in to put it on. So we'll see. It's basically like 30 times harder for me. But anyways, let me show you what came in the kit. Let me first show you. Yes, baby. So this is what the whole thing looks like it's really not that large I'm not sure what size this is exactly but I would guess to say it's about a 12 by 12 canvas Ready. and it We're looks ready. to be like a partial right ready. because all the blacks You're are not um, I don't have to fill in the black sections and yeah it looks like just accents but I thought this was like super cool this actually reminded me of my sister-in-law, so I actually bought her one too. So we can kind of like work on it together, separately, in our own houses. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, these are the rhinestones. Uh, how they come packaged? Oh, actually, first, let me tell you. It came in this little sleeve, Amazon sleeve, rolled up with like the Amazon product sticker label. So it's not like, and it also came in like um, a mailer bag. So it, there is potential to get bent and crushed but this one looked like it was crushed but actually when I f like unrolled it and flattened it out it was totally fine so here are the rhinestones and they have numbers on them I just can't see I have to zoom there we go so this is one and oh, let me show you the backs here let me unzoom you so can see I don't know if you can see it's kind of hard to tell in the packaging but basically they're rhinestones and I'm going to be organizing them in this little 5d diamond holder container thingy that I just bought because it's so hard for me to try to read the symbols on the baggies so let me show you I started packaging just one I just put a little label on here. So this kit is pretty cool. It comes with labels and these boxes. And then also a container like suitcase thing. Here we go. I'll just put this here. So that you can stack everything and keep it nice and neat. So these ones I did this morning. These are for my um, rhinestone keychains of which I can show you. I believe I have posted that video before this one, so click on this link if you want to see how I made these keychains, if I can find them. They're next to me, but under a bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can pull one out that's already made. Here is one. So this is the orange rhinestone, and these rhinestones came in these baggies too that were not resealable so I had to tape them and I had to keep trying to zoom in and check the number or the letter every time and it was 
definitely time consuming. So it's just as time consuming to try to put them in these containers and label them. But I guess in the long run, it saves time. So this is 13 of this owl painting in. Let's see if it will zoom in to just see the crystals. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, the rhinestone, flatback rhinestones. No glue on the back. The canvas is adhesive, so there's that. And then you just stick them in here. And it's really portable. You can just like click it and carry this away. Anyways, I always work, <laughs> well, I've learned to work in um, a box. This box is from the Brother Scan and Cut Rhinestone Kit. And this is where usually they recommend you work in case you spill rhinestones. So I'm reusing the lid of this box to also do my 5D diamond painting. And when I transfer my beads into the containers, I put them in another clear container. And I put them in the tray and I pour them here so that when I spill, I can just easily pick them up like that. And this is just a lid from uh, nachos from Taco Bell that I washed and cleaned and reused. So yeah. So there are all these rhinestones. Um, they look to be about the same size. No, they're supposed to be different sizes and different shapes. These are like specialty cut rhinestones, which I thought were interesting and not just like circles. So yeah, I really like that variation. It adds texture and depth and interest, visual interest. Anyways, that's enough about rhinestones. I can go on about rhinestones and crystals forever. But, what else, what else, what else? It came with your usual starter kit. And that is the tray, the little wax pad, and the pickup pen here. For the keychains, I didn't use them, I just used my fingers, because I can just lift it and just, like slide the rhinestones around. It was faster for me that way, but I don't think I can do that with this diamond painting, though maybe I can like place it close and then push it with my finger. I don't know, let's see. Let's see how elaborate these spaces are. Actually, no, I might be able to just use my finger too. But yeah, definitely if you can see better, <laughs> you should use the pickup tool and the tray and things like that just so you don't put your hand oils on the sticky part. But, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do because even though I can't see well and I can't see color, I still love doing crafts and it's not gonna stop me for now. It stopped me for a little bit, but I'm back. I'm back. So, yeah. I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna first organize all the rhinestones. It's gonna take me forever to organize these. But once I do, I'll get started and I'll be right back with the time lapse. Okay, so I wanted to show you the key on the side of the painting. So although the bags are numbered like 1 through 13, I believe. Yeah, 12, 13, there's 13 different colors. The symbol on the painting is different, so I'm going to have to keep referring to this um, chart to figure out which rhinestone I need. So I'm looking for T. T is 13. And I have my light board here. Let me just zoom out. I have my light board here. It really makes a big difference when it comes to being able to see. Let me show you what it looks like with it off. That's off. Maybe for you, you can still see very well. I guess, I guess for people with regular eyes, they can see well. But for me, this helps a lot. So I'm gonna just start by putting T's here. So it looks like... All of these bottom sections are T's, so I'm going to start there. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how I'm doing this. I'm literally just looking through what this screen that you can see. And then kind of just placing it as best I can. So yeah, I think this is like what surgeons who do microsurgery, you kind of have to use what you can see on the screen and not what's in front of you in person. It's kind of hard to explain. Oh, I think that one's backwards. Yep. Okay, so I'm 
so I'm trying to just grab that one off and shake my tray and find a new gem to replace it. So yeah, this is like really slow for me to do. So I won't record too much of me doing this because it's probably really boring. But this is how I do it. And I figured out this was the only way I can actually use, oops, the wax pen. I guess I could try to flip it. Did it work? It worked. Okay. So yeah, it just takes so much concentration. And let's try to pick up another one. And yeah, I mean, oh. Was there not even a bead on my thing? See? I have no idea. Okay. Mm, please. Okay. So I think this is like a relatively beginner level diamond painting since it, it is a partial. But for me, since I have vision problems, even with the light board, even with the zoom, it's just I have to get used to like figuring out where to put the stones. Just looking at the screen of my camera. Okay, okay. So oops. Sometimes it's not exactly where you want it. You can just kind of push it around with the nib of the wax pen. And I'm holding on to the tray and I'm leaning on the plastic portion and just kind of scooting my canvas around. But yeah, this is how I do it. And sorry if you can't hear me. But the baby is napping right now, so I have to be really quiet. Uh, oh, I think there's more here. Is there a gem? Ah, there is no jewel on there. Okay. Did I get one this time? I think so. Okay, there we go. probably be like ASMR. <laughs> I got complaints on my videos that um, I talk too softly. Um, the volume, the audio is not great. Yeah, sorry about that. I actually do have microphones, oops. But because of all the fires and stuff, the wildfires going on, I packed all my electronics into like an emergency suitcase. And I have never unpacked yet, so I'm kind of just, I don't know, I can't pick it up, it's like buried in there somewhere, so. I've just been filming videos with no mic, and I guess people notice a difference. <laughs> Sorry guys, but um, yeah. If there's anything you ever need to know that you can't hear, just leave a comment down below and oh, the speed and hopefully i can get better audio soon but yeah i'm just gonna keep continuing continuing this method that works for me so this might also help you if you are visually impaired or just your eyes are strained or something, just use your cell phone or an iPad or something and get like something to hold it up. Like I'm using right now, um, what do you call it? I guess a tripod. Yeah, that's what it is. And I've just angled it onto my canvas with the light board and that's how I have figured out a way to diamond paint. 
I totally forgot where it was earlier. I think I was like, let's see, I'm like skipping around. Where was I? I don't know. Oh well. Oh, here we go. Found the spot again. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this and hopefully. Oh, uh oh, there's a problem. See, I feel like I'm putting the jewel, the rhinestones, in just random places because <laughs> my pen will touch the canvas without me knowing it, and then I'll lose my rhinestone. But that can be fixed later. Oh, and I'm propping my pinky on the canvas just so kind of like as a placeholder. Stabilize my hand as I put the rhinestone down and Eek, that was backwards, but we saved it. Okay What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna continue this. Oh, no rhinestone Is there not one on here that was Sorry guys, well, this takes so much concentration. I'm gonna continue this and I'll be back for a progress report. Okay, so here is the finished diamond painting. I think it came out so beautiful. I don't know if I can show you this sparkle. But yeah, look at it. It's gorgeous and it's my first official completed diamond painting. Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see. Mm. The camera doesn't pick up any of the sparkle, but basically imagine this whole thing um, just glittering like crazy. It's beautiful. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, thumbs up this video, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.